guys, it is me, Life Simmer, and welcome back to The Sims 3 Generations LP Part 15, I think. Okay, so this uh, part might be a little bit shorter than usual because I'm actually, um, I need to go meet my friend really shortly. But um, I'm going to be recording The Walking Dead later tonight, so it might be up in the morning or tonight, I'm not really sure. Either way, let's go ahead and jump into the gameplay. When we left off, we got a... Um, an invite to the recital at Brill Brush Academy, so we definitely have to go to that. Aluna ages up in two whole days, and um, Justine was pregnant again with her third kid, aka our final kid. Uh, Penelope is aging up in two days as well. A lot of birthdays are going to be happening. You know, it's kind of funny how all three of our children that are going to be, um, well, all three of our children, including the one that's not born, are all going to be sharing the same birthday. It's, it's really cool, to be honest. It's like a three-in-one. Um, one of my teachers uh, for this school year is actually not going to be there because she's about to have a baby. I saw her the other day because I had to fill in some um, paperwork and stuff and whatever, and she is so huge. It, like, it's crazy to think something's inside of there. <laughs> I don't know. It's just weird. Because I'm just so used to my, my Sims being pregnant and it lasting like three days. But no, not in this case. Okay, guys, um, they I think I'm going to have them all go out to dinner. They actually could. Uh, they can actually afford it. So I'm going to have them go to the bistro and they're going to eat here uh, with the whole family. Except Buster. Sorry, Buster. You're going to have to stay home. Um, it is It is a Friday evening, so why not? Uh, they're all just going to head out. And I will get back to you guys when they get home from dinner. Um, maybe they'll even go see a movie. When is the next movie? I think it's at um, either 5 p.m. or 8. Oh, they have something going on right now. Um, oh, look at all the people here. We'll invite Angela, Zahara, Lilith. Um, Cassandra, Joseph, Luna, Penelope, the whole crew, well, they'll all go, uh, go see a movie afterwards. Alrighty, so like I was saying, I'm gonna go ahead and skip until they eat dinner and stuff, but let's actually take a look at this bistro. I never really looked at it, so I'm kind of curious. Um, it's neat. I like how they have, like, a little outdoors area, um where it's like this type of furniture it's it's cute look at that puddle i remember when i got seasons and i was like amazed amazed <laughs> at the puddles how they actually did that but you know that's just me being a weirdo i will get back to you guys when they are done at the end of the night <laughs> see you guys then Alrighty, so they went and saw a movie which was nice and um She's going to put Penelope down while it's hailing out. Don't do that. Just go home. Uh, he's in the movie still. She'll just uh, go ahead and go home. Uh, her back's hurting anyway, so I'll let her head home. Maybe tomorrow I'll let her go get a little massage at the day spa. I'm thinking that could be fun for her. Let's go ahead and... Um, what's wrong with Penelope? Um, let me get a potty training table. A, a potty training table because that makes so much freaking sense a potty chair <laughs> let's get one of those and place it right here let's actually go ahead and use it you know potty train penelope uh tomorrow we need to teach her how to walk and talk and yeah i never teach my kids how to take a shit i never do it i just too much work actually she's doing it pretty fast Alrighty, we'll, we'll lock that in. She still managed to smell terrible though. Alrighty, we will change her dirty diaper and put her to bed. And then we will, where is she? She's down here. Oh, don't go to the movie now, it's late. Go have, don't leave him alone. Have him clean up for you. He's like our own personal slave. It's freaking awesome having your own personal slave just like handy around your house. It's it's awesome, you know. It's this little puppet thingy. It's so useful, but at the same time, it's so scary. I, I don't I don't know. My opinion's mixed. It's like useful but scary. 
Alrighty, so with Generations, there came a new option to check for monsters underneath your bed. Um, now we're going to have Luna go check for monsters underneath her bed and see if there's any little critters um, chilling under there. Does she have any friends? I don't think she does. She needs to make some friends for sure. So we can have a sleepover. Let's see if there's monsters. Ooh. Alrighty, now for two hours, she will not sleep on that bed. It says, no, monsters are totally real and they're under that bed. They totally want to eat up Luna, panic. Alrighty, so she will not sleep on her bed. It says, are you kidding? Luna Fenderson, Fenderson isn't going anywhere near that bed. Um, so Luna will come over here and um, we'll wake Justine up and Justine will go sleep in Luna's bed and she will come sleep in this bed. Come on. Oh, we need to do laundry. Alrighty, I'm going to go ahead and skip until the morning and I will see you guys then. Alrighty, so good morning. It is Saturday. Um, so today we need to teach Luna, not Luna, we need to teach Penelope how to walk and talk. And also, um, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have Luna go ahead and lay some uh, little uh, pranks around the house so I can show you guys that. Um, I don't know. I think because she's a kid, she can't do the, you know, ding dong ditch, the stink bag. But we're going to go ahead and check really fast. She might be able to. I'm not sure. But, um, let's see. No. You have to be a teenager to do that, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure uh, when she's a teenager, she can start doing that. But for now, we can go ahead and mess with her mom and her dad, which will be a lot of fun. Uh, but she's going to go ahead and get up, get up. And um, guess who woke up? All right, we're going to have him go ahead and clean up for her. Um, and we're going to go outside. Actually, hold on. We are going to go set a trap. We're going to set it up for, we're going to set it up for Justine. Let's say that Luna's a little pissed off that there's going to be another baby. Like she already has to deal with Penelope and now there's going to be another one. Like she's not okay with it. So she's going to go set up, um, a prank. We're about to be scolded because she got caught. I should have thought of that. Let's see how this goes. It looks like your sim has been caught being a troublemaker. Mmm. Oh, yes. Punishments came with this game. Like, you can get timeout and stuff. You are in big trouble, young lady. You better not do that again. Again, maybe you should help around the house to get on my good side. So, pretty much, you can clean around the house and whatever, and you'll get on their good side. But, you know, don't worry about it. Like, <laughs> got in trouble. Getting in trouble is no big deal, as long as it was worth it. From... Setting booby trap. It was worth it. Alrighty, so we're going to have her go set a trap for Justine now. She's totally mad at her mom now because, you know, her mom just yelled at her. So she's going to go set that. So when you have a prank set up, you will see a glowing thingy. And that means a prank was placed uh, there, which is really cool. So uh, Justine's going to come shower. Look at her big belly. It's getting so big. <laughs> okay. Pranked. It says, what tastes worse? The embarrassment of humiliation from shower dye. You guys will see that. You guys see her hair is currently friggin' hot pink in there. I love this. I love it. Look at that. She's like shocked that she has bright pink hair. <laughs> so she hops back in the shower and that's how it goes. Um, it's pretty neat. And Luna now has successful prank. The timing, the preparation, the execution, 
boy, does it feel good. Uh, or, boy, does it feel great to play a good prank and get away with it. So now she's going to go scold her and then use the restroom. Whatever. We're going to have Joseph. Oh, he's giving Buster a bath over here. Let's see that. Cute. And then once he's done with that, um, first she needs to do that. And then she needs to eat. There's so much that they have to do. Alrighty, guys. I think I'm going to have Luna go ahead and be a little booty and set booty traps all over this house um booby not booty i'm just used to booties <laughs> i'm terrible just have her place them all over the place and um be a terrible kid Alrighty, we're gonna have her actually go um have a royal court meeting at the dining room table. I loved this aspect that came in Generations. Like, I think it's so freaking cute. So, get out of here. So, if we come over here, she'll, like, turn into, like, a little princess, and it's adorable. So, I'll have to say bow down, bitches, because Luna is the queen. This is pretty much how it goes. <laughs> it's so cute. You know, the family can all be eating dinner and you could have that. It's really cute. Um, alrighty, she's eating. She's really tired and it's only like 1 p.m. I'm going to let her actually go get a massage. Um, where's the day spa? Where is it? Like, I, I never use it. <laughs> Oops. But where is it? Um. You guys are probably like, it's right there. I say that, like, every time, I swear. Here it is. Um. Get massage. We will get the cheapest one. <laughs> and this is it right here. Oh, that is so beautiful. That is so freaking pretty. Are you kidding me? Go get yourself a manicure as well. No, get a mani, a petty, and a soak. I think she deserves it. Yeah, she's gonna go. Go do that. Joseph will take care of the kids. Hopefully feed them if he can. But I'm gonna go ahead and skip until, um, until later. He's just gonna do some laundry and stuff and hopefully teach Penelope how to walk and talk. Uh, so I'll get back to you guys. Alrighty, so I thought I would go ahead and show Luna and Snuggles out here playing together. Um, I'm actually going to have her come on over here and play in the sand. I don't think I've shown this to you guys yet, but um, she can play in the sand and it's really cool. Or she can bury little things in here like her textbook, which I think we should do. Um... Oh, and right now she has a mood lip because she has her little outfit on. It says queen for a day. President, wait, president over royal court is hard work. There are so many requests for peons to attend to. So I, I'm pretty sure this is a hidden skill. As your sim gets better at playing in the sand, I guess, you know, they learn to make different castles and all that. Oh, shoot. The baby is coming. I thought the baby wasn't supposed to come for another day. She's over here. Relaxed. Manny and Patty. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Go to the hospital. We'll let her have this one at the hospital. Penelope was the black sheep of the family, so she was born at home. Alrighty. I guess we're going to go have this baby right now. What? You know what? Let's do it. Oh, no, Luna missed. No! No, we would have not even been able to go anyways. Oh. It's too bad she wasn't able to perform, but she was uh, gifted a participation trophy. She'll get it when she comes a teenager. I'm really upset. No. <laughs> Alrighty, let's go have this, babes. Yeah, chill, chill out. Chill out. Chill your tits. Alrighty, it looks like Buster's about to die. Never mind. 
All right, let's go have that baby. Congra <gasps> you guys, we got what we wanted. We got what we wanted. We finally got a baby boy. Yes, yes, yes. Um, we get to pick his two traits and what to name him. What to name him. <laughs> Alrighty, I decided to pull a little bit of a Ariana Grande J type of thing. We're going to spell it like that, but his name is pronounced J. So this is J Fenderson, and he's going to be the adorable little bean of the family because he's the youngest and he's the only boy, so I'm really excited. Um, we're going to go ahead and give him the insane trait because he's going to be insane. And we will let him be, hmm, we need something that will make him very different. We'll have him be, well, that's not really different, but I'll let him be athletic. We got a baby boy. I'm so happy, you guys. Uh, he has um, a knife, l enough lifetime rewards to actually go ahead and purchase a another, why is my family so loud right now? Another... Uh, inheritance. Let me know if you guys want us to do that. We could totally do that. <laughs> we could totally do it. You know what I mean? Alrighty, so we just had the baby and I'm so happy. It's a boy. Like, you guys have no idea. I was totally expecting another girl, but nope. Now we have the family that I really wanted. I wanted two girls, one boy. So I'm really happy. So they're done having kids. Hopefully. I think they're done having kids. Um, why is there, like, a witch? Once again, it's actually a warlock. Wrong LP. Wrong LP. Sounds like I'm saying LP. Shout out to Alex. LP. LP pop. Um, alrighty guys. So I think we're going to go ahead and end this part here. I'm pretty sure not too much happened in this part, you know, just Jay being born. But in the next part, we need to redecorate the room, so let me know if you guys want me to do the inheritance. And probably if we do get the inheritance, I'm definitely going to fix this house uh, a little bit. But let's go ahead and place the chemicals in Penelope's room. And get uh, Jay a little bed. Just plop it in there for now. I'll decorate next part. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end this part here. Okay, I am about to wring my neck and snap it in half because I just spilt soda. <sighs> Goodness. Okay, I will see you guys next time. I will be recording The Walking Dead later, so check that out. And tomorrow, Island Paradise Generations will be up and maybe The Walking Dead. I don't know. I've been trying to get on top of my upload, so yeah. I'll see you guys later. Yeah. Love you guys so much. Bye, guys.